Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for two Facebook groups fans of Serif Software and the Affinity Designer and Photo Group. Okay, on the Affinity Designer and Photo Group Facebook page um, this gentleman, I believe it's a gentleman and I'm not going to insult you by trying to um, pronounce your first name but the second name is Kazim. Um, he wanted to know how to get a Pantone number in Affinity Designer from a colour in the gradient. Now I'm not going to sit here and profess that I know any or all the answers. I'm just trying to answer it the best I can from a little bit of looking around that I've done. But as you can see, some people have made some comments here, like Jim Campbell said about that. Um, if, for example, you picked 032 red, it will still be red no matter where it is on the gradient, just at different densities. And then Rich Crow did a really good um, long description about how Pantone colours, there's not that many Pantone colours, so it's very hard to get to recreate them. Um, as well, worth a read that. Um, but I just want to have a quick look at what I found. And what I've done is, in Affinity Design, and this should work pretty much the same in Affinity Photo as well, um, is I've just made a document and I've just put a gradient across and I just picked a random green colour. Now, to find out what that colour is, up here in the colour swatch there is this eyedropper, and if you hold down the control key on a PC and I'm I'm not certain about a Mac, I think it's a command key. But if you hold that down and then click and drag this eye dropper here, you can drag it around the screen and the colour that is underneath the um, centre of that circle, you can see it's got the RGB colour range there. So obviously there's not much of this green colour over here in the light part of the gradient and if it's at its strongest on the right hand side in the direction that I drew this gradient anyway and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the very top corner and hopefully this is going to be the highest density of it's very difficult to get exactly and once you let go that colour will now be placed in this little green circle and if I click on that green circle that colour will now be made as the foreground colour which gives you the RGB colour that is pretty close to you know, the, the colour that was underneath that colour picker. Now admittedly when I did this in my test run I got 45 Twenty two fifty five and one one two. So it's not it's not going to be a perfect system. Let me just make this forty five because it's the numbers I'm going to work with. Um, and if you work with hex codes, it, it's like two D FF seventy. And if you work with CMYK, it'll be eighty two zero fifty six zero. Right, so now we know that the colour that you are going for, if we go to the internet here, and I found two websites. One is called RGB2, and you can type in the colour that you are looking for, and and they tell you here the format that you want they want it in. So if you're doing RGB, you you know you do number comma number comma or the same with CMYK um, or you can go with the hex code so I'm going to go with um, let's go with the RGB so that was 45 space no comma comma space 255 comma space 112 and then I'm going to press return and so that tells you the 
that has converted that to the color there and it tells you like the hex code which we I already knew which was 2DFF70 um, but it will also tell I don't know too much what RAL colors are I believe it's some sort of possibly American paint color system but the RAL color is 6038 but this bit's quite interesting down here the bottom here you've got the color schemes that will complement that color and this might be useful if you're doing a design or something and you want complementary colors and you can click and save this as a PNG and then you would have that image and then you can just right click and save as okay so if I come back to this RGB2 website um, and it is a bit hit and miss but sometimes I, you get a little button that comes up here that says find Pantone number um, but what it can do you got here the rail number which is 6038 and one of the options up here you got RAL colors if I type in that number which is 6038 you can search for Pantone and it says there are no colors that match and that's because there's you know, not that many Pantone colors to start with so it, you will probably find nine times out of ten you won't find the Pantone color you're looking for so if I move on to this other website I found which is CMYK to Pantone um, all you got to do is put in the CMYK values and I know that this was 82 and then it was 0 and this one was 56 and that was 0 and and the, as it tells you here there are no PMS color within a distance of 32 the closest color is at a distance of 50 so if I change the color distance and the nearest to f the one above could I go to 48 there's still no color within the distance of 48 if I go to 64 it will tell me the nearest Pantone colors to that green is CF12C and 7479C so that is as close as I can get to helping out Kazim um, and it's and apart from that beyond that it's way beyond my capabilities and knowledge of affinity designer photo and even Pantone colors I'm hoping that is of some help and hopefully we'll get him a step nearer to the answer that he wants so thank you for watching and goodbye